you get it right, it will start the coil up and spin the magnet. There you go. and today I'm doing my Bendini circuit. Um, I don't think I ever did a video on the Bendini circuit but there's lots of videos on YouTube if you don't know what a Bendini circuit is but basically what happens with the circuit is it on a traditional circuit when the coil collapses it's an electrical circuit okay if you don't know anything about it at all it's this would normally power a wheel and it was a pulse motor and it would pulse the wheel and the wheel would turn and then what would happen is, as the coil turns off, you get a high spike of, I think it's back EMF. You collect the back EMF from the coil and you put it into your other battery. So when you use this battery, it slowly will charge up this battery as well and power your wheel or whatever. Um, and it's basically a way of recovering lost energy from the back spike of a collapsing coil. Um, and all coils, when they collapse, you get a huge spike and traditionally they have to build something into the circuit to stop the spike damaging the rest of the circuit so instead of doing that you know shorten it down to earth we're just going to put it straight into a battery which makes a lot more sense um, but what I discovered was which I thought was quite fun um, hopefully it'll work I might switch the camera off right. if I take my iron core out of the middle so if you know about these, you'll know what I'm talking about. Right, so I've taken the iron core out. Right. And then just nanodium magnets. Hopefully you can hear it. Okay, so I don't know why it's doing that. But I guess it's resonating. I guess the power coil is setting off the trigger coil which is setting off the power coil which is setting off the trigger coil um, and obviously I can adjust it slightly oh we lost it, hang on, let's do it again I think my potentiometer is getting a bit um, melted out. <laughs> anyway, we'll get it going. Again. Um, right. Okay. Yeah, I think where I need to do it so it doesn't burn the switch out, it's already melted out. Um, and if I leave it going where it's set, too high powered and it will just burn the switch out. You'll see in a minute they'll, the smoke will start coming off here. But yeah, hopefully you can hear the fact that it is uh, resonating. And I don't know why it's doing that. And uh, the other thing I discovered was um, before I burn it out completely, that stops it. That starts it. Isn't that weird, eh? Hey? So yeah, weird, and like I say, hopefully the uh, camera is picking up the buzz. So yeah, um, before I burn the switch out, what I wanted to show you quickly was if I get a, one of these, oh, the switch is going, if I get one of these magnets, and I put it in here, Oh, doing something. Oh, the switch is burning out. I didn't do that last time, right? Hang on. I think the switch is gone now. The potentiometer. Yeah, I can smell it. It's burnt out. I might have a spare one. Shame. 
didn't want it to burn out before I anyway um, earlier on when I put the magnet in here when it was working I put the magnet in here and it shot out across the table so obviously there's a bit of pulsing going on um, it's a bit like a, a rail gun or a magnetic gun I guess um, yes, I, can't, oh, I can't get it going again I think it, to be fair it's just the the contacts on the switch uh, the potential might have burnt out yeah, it's not going to start again. No. Right, anyway, you get the idea. Okay, this is Rainstorm's vlog today. Um, so anybody knows why that resonates, um, that'd be interesting to know. Okay, so I'm back, and what I've done is I've uh, I bypassed the... Uh, Tensiometer, and I put some more. Uh, let's see, there's probably six. I think there is six half. Uh, no, six quarter watt hundred ohm resistors, and that's enough to stop them burning out. Um, so I bypass this. It's not strong enough. So now it's non-adjustable. It's just at a fixed frequency. Um, and then what I'll show you is. Right, okay. While I've been playing around, there's a couple of ways to start it up. You can. And it stops. Right. If you use the magnet the other way, right, so I did it that way around. If you do it the other way around. Will work. This way around. Okay, so that's basically started up the coil. Then I was messing around and I was thinking, well, um, this almost levitates on here. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I could make some sort of levitator. And then I dropped it in. <laughs> oh, look at that go. Oh, right there it is. <laughs> so that's quite random. Um, so yeah, that's quite fun. Right, so one way attracts and one way will repel. So, but you have to turn the coil on first. So, we get our magnet. Oh, God, these are strong magnets. Right. Oh. My hand, right? Okay. So now, when you hold this here, you can feel it pulsing. If you hold it so it's repelling, you can feel it repelling. You push it in, and then you drop it. Away she goes. Discovery. I half knew about it, but I didn't really, and so it's quite fun to do. There go, right. So the other thing I found was I don't won't do it now. I'm trying to do it. Okay, you can get get the magnet, which is here, and you can you see how it moves in there. You can, if you get it right, it will start the coil up and spin the magnet. There you go. Oh. Oh, I just dropped that in it and it started going. You know, it's more luck than anything else. I'll try again. I mean, that's got to be going so fast. Right. See if just dropping it in works. Probably missed the hole. Look at that, that's the wine. 